So today we're going to be talking about a super, super exciting topic, how VAT works for Amazon FBA sellers. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. If you know who I am, then welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's Luca. And on this channel, I talk everything Amazon FBA and e-commerce. So if that is your cup of tea, hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bells on so you get notified for all future videos. Now, VAT is one of these things that I get asked about so often, and I think a lot of people find it really confusing. But the truth is, once you know how it works, it's really not that complicated. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how it works for FBA sellers step by step, and by the end of the video, I promise you're gonna be a VAT expert. Also, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how you can get your hands on my profit calculation tool, which shows you both profit and profit margins pre and post VAT registration. Now, this tool is normally only available to Amazon Brand Academy members, but I'm gonna show you how you can get your hands on it completely free of charge at the end of the video. So why don't we jump into the slides? Okay, so what is VAT and how does it work? So VAT stands for value added tax and it's a sales tax that's charged on all non-essential products or services. So there are some products that the government deem as essential that we don't have to pay VAT on such as food, but pretty much most products as consumers we actually have to pay VAT on. And pretty much any product we're gonna be selling as an Amazon FBA seller, we will have to charge VAT on if we are VAT registered because most of them will not fall into that essential category. And this sales tax is charged at 20%. And it's important to note that the buyer pays the VAT. As sellers, we don't have to pay VAT. We have to charge VAT on our products, which the buyer pays, and we as sellers are simply collecting that VAT and then paying it to the government. So let's look at this in an example. Let's say we are an Amazon seller and we are selling a laptop stand for 12 pounds. If we're VAT registered, what we're actually charging for this product, the XVAT price, is only 10 pounds. But because we're VAT registered, we need to charge 20% VAT on top. So 20% of 10 pounds is obviously two pounds. So 10 pounds will go to us, and then two pounds we have to collect from the buyer and basically give it to the government, pay it to the government in taxes. Now it's important to know that actually you only need to charge VAT on your products if you're VAT registered and you don't have to be VAT registered, at least not at the beginning. So when do you need to be VAT registered? Well, basically if your company is based and registered in the UK and you're selling on amazon.co.uk, the government gives you an 80K threshold. So basically what this means is, is that you can sell up to 80,000 pounds over a 12 month period and not have to be VAT registered. So if your turnover is under 80K in a rolling 12 months, then you do not need to be VAT registered. However, if you do go over that 80K, if your revenue goes over 80K, then you will need to become VAT registered as soon as you cross that 80K threshold in a rolling 12 month period. So that's if your company is based in the UK. If your company is not based in the UK, so let's say you are a German registered company and you want to hold stock in a UK fulfillment center and sell on the UK marketplace, then actually, unfortunately, there is no threshold. You need to be VAT registered from the very beginning. And actually, that's the same vice versa. So if we are a UK based company and we want to hold stock in a German fulfillment center and sell products on uh, Amazon Germany, then again, there is also no threshold for us as UK sellers in Germany. Okay, so let's look at how VAT would work for you if your company is not VAT registered. So if you're not VAT registered, you do not need to charge VAT on your products. Essentially, the sale price of your product, you get to keep all of that. You don't need to charge any VAT or pay the government any VAT on that sales price. But you will have to pay VAT on all of your business expenses. So you have to pay VAT on your stock. So if you're buying stock from the UK, then you'll pay the, your manufacturer in the UK VAT. VAT. If you're buying stock from China, you won't pay the Chinese company VAT. What will happen is when the stock comes into the UK and hits customs, you'll basically then have to pay the VAT that's calculated on that stock on customs directly to the government. You also have to pay VAT on all your Amazon fees and all your other business expenses. Now, the reason why you don't have to charge VAT, but you have to pay VAT on all of your business expenses is that basically the VAT has to be paid 
by someone and the VAT is not paid twice. So effectively, if you were to pay VAT on your expenses, so for your stock, and also charge VAT on the products you sell, essentially the government would be paid VAT twice. And VAT is only paid once by the final consumer. So essentially, if you're not VAT registered, you'll pay VAT on your expenses, but you won't have to collect and pay VAT on your sales, on your revenue. In comparison, if your business is VAT registered, so if you choose to be VAT registered or you go over that 80K threshold and have to be VAT registered, then you will have to charge VAT on all of the products that you sell on Amazon, but you will not have to pay VAT on any of your business expenses. You won't have to pay VAT on your stock, on your Amazon fees, or any of your other business expenses. So again, the VAT is only paid to the government once, but when you're not registered, that VAT is paid to the government on all of your business expenses. Once you're VAT registered, that VAT is actually charged on the final sale price of your products, and then you have to collect that VAT and pay that to the government. So that's what it looks like in theory. In reality, you do actually end up paying VAT on your expenses, but you can deduct that VAT that you've already paid on your expenses from the VAT that you owe the government from your sale price, from your revenue. And we call this VAT returns. So once your business is VAT registered, every quarter you or your accountant is gonna file VAT returns to HMRC. Because basically, once you're VAT registered, what HMRC is gonna say to you, let's say we're using this example, HMR HMRC is gonna say, on a 12 pound sale, you owe us two pounds. And what you're saying in your VAT return, you're basically showing that out of that two pounds you owe, you've already paid one pound 30 in VAT on your expenses. So actually you only owe HMRC 70 pence out of that two pounds. So effectively, once you're VAT registered, you'll still need to pay VAT on all of your business expenses, but the VAT that you spend on your business expenses is deductible from the VAT that you owe the government that you've collected on the sale of your products. So obviously becoming VAT registered is gonna have an impact on our profit and profit margins because we're gonna to have to be paying the government a chunk of every sale that we make once we're VAT registered. And we're not really gonna be able to increase our prices because obviously that's gonna make us less competitive and where our sales will drop if we increase our prices. So let's look at what the profit impact actually would be looking at some examples. So first of all, let's say we are not VAT registered. We haven't hit that 80K turnover and we're selling a laptop stand for 12 pounds we would actually be able to keep all of that 12 pounds as revenue because we don't have to charge any VAT on the sale price of our item if we're not VAT registered. But we will have to pay VAT on our expenses. So let's say the cost of the laptop stand costs us three pounds. We'll also have to pay 60 pence in VAT. Let's say the Amazon referral fee, which tends to be around 15%, so 15% of 12 pounds is one pound 80. What we'll actually have to pay is one pound 80 plus 36 pence in VAT on that referral fee. The same thing with the FBA fee, which is the Amazon fulfillment fee. Let's say Amazon charges us two pounds. Well, we'll actually be paying Amazon two pounds 40 because we'll have to pay VAT on that FBA fee. So we're not VAT registered, our total expenses will be £8.16, including VAT. £6.80, which are the XVAT expenses, plus £1.36 in VAT, which we pay on those expenses. If you minus our £8.16 expenses from our £12 sale price, then our profit is £3.84 per unit we sell, which is a 32% profit margin. So let's compare that to then if we are VAT registered. So if we sell the same product, but we're now VAT registered, we actually only get to keep 10 pounds in revenue from each 12 pound sale because two pounds of that is VAT. We're gonna have to charge VAT on our sales price, but we won't have to pay VAT on our expenses. So even though our revenue is lower, our expenses are also low. We only have to pay the six pounds 80 expenses because our expenses are X VAT, which means that if you minus six pounds 80 from 10 pounds, our profit is £3.20 per unit and our profit margin is 32%. So as you can see, becoming VAT registered has actually had quite a big impact on our profit. So our profit has gone from £3.84 per unit down to £3.20 units. So that's actually 64 pence less profit 
per unit. The profit margin has stayed around the same because profit margins, once we're VAT registered, are worked out on the X VAT sales price. So it would be £3.20 divided by £10, which is still 32%. But the actual amount of money, physical money, that we're making per unit has dropped. And that's why it's so important when you're doing your product research or you're getting in contact and negotiating with manufacturers that you calculate your profit margins both when you're pre-VAT registered, so when you're not VAT registered, and when you're VAT registered because you need to know that you're still gonna be getting a good profit and good profit margin when you're VAT registered. You know, if your product does sell well, it's very likely that you're gonna to have to be VAT registered in the near future and you don't wanna find that once you become VAT registered, your product's no longer profitable anymore. So there's a profit calculation tool that's included with the Amazon Brand Academy that calculates profit margins both pre and post VAT registration. But if you wanna get your hands on that, you can get it completely free. All you need to do is just head over to a video that I created last week and there's a link in the description to download that tool completely free. So I'll put a link in the description of this video and also put a card somewhere up on your screen if you wanna download that free tool. So at this point, you're probably thinking, God, I don't wanna to have to become VAT registered. But the truth is, it's not actually so bad. And the reason why it's not so bad is that your product cost and your Amazon fees are not gonna be your only business expenses. You're gonna have other business expenses like your accountancy fees, all of the softwares they use for Amazon and so on. And once you're VAT registered, you're not actually gonna to have to pay VAT or you're gonna be able to deduct all of the VAT that you spend on all of your other business expenses. So actually when you're looking at your net profit margins, often becoming VAT registered has very little effect on your bottom line. Actually some businesses actually find it financially beneficial to become VAT registered before they hit that 80K threshold. But I wanna point out that I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an accountant, so if you need to make that decision, I highly recommend you speaking to an accountant before you make any decisions. So I really hope that you find the video useful. If you did, give it a like. I really, really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.